Hello, good morning, students. Welcome to all of you state level online lecture. I am Ms. Sarundhati Patil from Gumpa Road English Secondary Municipal School. Today we are going to see in our English lecture the writing skill part that is the letter writing. Just I will share you the screen. See in the previous lecture we have seen about the formal letter. There are two types of letter are there. One is formal letter and the other one is informal letter. So we have discussed about the formal letter and in this today's lecture, we will discuss about the informal letter. Just we'll revise about how to write a letter, the letter writing format, what, I, what is meant by formal letter, their topics and some examples. So we'll discuss both the uh, types of letter that is formal letter and informal letter. So first we will see how to write a letter, okay? So see, what is letter? Uh, letter writing is an important topic in the English writing skill. Uh, in exam, it comes in the writing skill part, that is the question number five. It carries five marks. The marks distribution and all, we are going to see afterwards. Mm -hmm. So see, uh, first we will see what is meant by a formal letter. See, a formal letter can be written for various reasons. So, here we have covered the formal letter format written for different purposes. And on the other hand, an informal letter is written to one's friends, family or relatives. So, first we will see the types of formal letter. A formal letter is an official letter. Then we are going to see the format of letter, then how to write a format, a formal letter, and some examples we are going to see about formal letter. Now, while writing the formal letter, the following points need to be taken into consideration while writing a formal letter. Now, which are the points are there? that you have to remember while you are writing the formal letter. Formal letter is what? It's an official letter. Okay. So a formal letter strictly follows the prescribed format for writing a formal letter. Huh? Here, while writing the formal letter, we have to follow the format perfect format of the formal letter. Then, in formal letter, we should not use abbreviations. Uh, the slang language, the colloquial words uh, should be avoided. And a formal letter must be precise and to the point. The subject line is very important in a formal letter. The format of a formal letter is as follows. What is the format of the formal letter C? First, there should be a sender's address. Okay. So what will come in the sender's address? The address and contact details of the sender, uh, sender are written here. Include an email and phone number if required or if mentioned in the question. Uh, sender's address means suppose you are writing the letter then your address will come you are the sender okay the sender's address will become and the details of the sender you are all the address details will come in the sender's address why because if you are writing the letter to any the principal and the principal wants to reply your letter okay so you are address should be known to that person the receivers the receiver should know that address so sender's address is must next below sender's address what will come the date will come the date is written below the sender's address after leaving one space or line 
the so below sender's address what will come the date will come then after sender's address and date what will you, what is the third point receiver's address Uh, is to whom you are writing the letter suppose you are writing the letter to the officer to any to the principal to any editor that address is known as a receiver's address uh, that address will be come then the subject of the letter what is the subject that will be the subject the main purpose of the letter Um, for what you are writing the letter, that main purpose of the letter will come under subject, and the subject must be written not in three or four lines. It should be in a one line, huh? and in that one line, it must convey the matter for which the letter is written. The next one is salutation. That is respected sir or respected madam. That is known as a salutation next for uh, parties the main body of the letter uh, what for what for, uh, for what you are writing the letter the matter of the letter uh, you should write it down and the letter is uh, that matter is divided into three paragraphs under that three paragraphs what will come so again i am repeating first will be the sender's address means your address after that there will be a date after that there will be a receiver address is to whom you are writing the letter their address will come then in one line the subject of the letter will come what is the main purpose of the subject the next there will be a next there will be a subject Ah, uh, what is the subject? Uh, sorry, next there will be a salutation. It is respected sir or respected madam. Then main body of the letter. The matter of the letter is there written, and it is divided into three paragraphs. In the first paragraph, you will introduce yourself and the purpose of writing the letter in brief. In brief means in short. In paragraph two, you will give detail of the matter. And in the paragraph three, you will conclude by mentioning what you expect. Now, for example, a solution to your problem to highlight an issue in the newspaper. And next is complimentary closing that is thanking you. And next will be sender's name, signature, and designation if any. So see, this is the format. See, sender's address. Then there will be a date. Receiver's address, subject, salutation, body of the letter, complimentary closing. Okay, the sender's name, signature, and designation. So this is the format of the formal letter. In this format, you have to write down the letter. First will be sender's address means your address. Then there will be date. Then to whom you are writing the letter, that person address will be there. Then in a one line subject, then salutation means respected sir or madam. Then main body of the letter, the matter should be there. It will be there into three paragraphs. Then subscription that is complimentary closing, thanking you, yours faithfully, yours obediently, yours sincerely, or yours truly, and sender's name, signature, and designation. Now some examples are there. That examples we will see. write a letter to the mayor of your city seeking a solution to the problem of water logging in your area you are raj or rani of dharma colony ramgarh huh? you have to write down the letter to the mayor of your city that seeking a solution to the problem of water logging in your area and you are raj or rani of dharma colony ramgarh now see Fourteen eight Dharma Colony Ramgarh date fifteenth January two thousand twenty one. This is the sender's address. Then receiver's address to the Mayor Ramgarh. Subject complaint regarding the problem of water logging in Dharma Colony. Huh? Then there will be a salutation, sir or madam. I am Raj, a resident of Dharma Colony. 
the residents of the area are facing a lot of problems due to water logging every year in the monsoon season the area gets filled with water as the drainage system gets choked we have requested the area committee many times but the situation is still the same the residents lives have the residents lives have become miserable as many water borne diseases have spread all the houses are submerged and we are facing a tough time please consider the issue as serious and find a solution at the earliest your sincerely raj now your sincerely this is a salutation okay this is one letter other letter is you see you are sanchit of 1 122 arjun nagar new delhi a number of scooters and cars are parked in your locality without any order causing blockage of the streets write a letter to the local secretary of the residents association complaining against this problem now then you have to write down a letter huh, to the local secretary that there are number of scooters and cars park in your locality without any order and due, due to that the, the streets are blocked now see sender's address is 122 arjun nagar new delhi date february 20 2021 secretary resident association new delhi sir sorry first subject will come then uh, salutation will come subject is complaint regarding the issue of bad parking habits in the locality sir i would like to draw your attention to the bad parking habits of residents in your locality it is resulting in a lot of chaos and no place for parking for those who come back late Despite defining the area assigned to each vehicle, cars are parked amidst two parking spots. One vehicle occupies the space for two, three vehicles, leading to mismanagement. Two wheelers are placed now where near the allotted zone. This creates problems for other people as they have to then spend a lot of time finding parking spots in other localities. it introduces frustration and tension for the uh, safety of vehicles various notices and warnings have been given to the ruler rule violators but to our dismay no betterment can be seen i request you to take strict action as this is leading to fights between the residents effective and speedy action is expected considering the depth of the situation you are sincerely sanjit a concerned citizen Uh, one more example is there sick leave application for the school uh, sick leave you are not feeling well and you are writing the letter to the principal so how you will write down to the principal write down name of the school and address date what is the subject application for leave uh, sir or madam uh, with due respect i beg to say that i am not in a state to attend the school as i am down due to the viral fever i have been advised by your family doctor that i have to take proper rest for at least number of days how many days that you have to mention 8 days 7 days 15 days therefore kindly grant me leave for again here you have to mention the dates i shall be ready uh, really thankful for you thanking you yours obediently see students when you are writing the letter to the principal or teacher you have to write down yours obediently your name your class and section means division and roll number so this letter was written for the principal one more example of in uh, formal letter we are going to see write a letter to the municipal commissioner of your city right uh, regarding the poor quality and inadequate supply of the municipal uh, water you are the president of hwa of gulmohar colony bhopal madhya pradesh now we will write down see this is the address street 5 house number 432 gulmohar colony bhopal mp madhya pradesh 8 september 2020 to 
प्रिंसिपल कमिश्नर भोपाल मध्य प्रदेश सब्जेक्ट पुअर क्वालिटी एंड इन एडुकेट सप्लाई ऑफ म्युनिसिपल वॉटर सर आई ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ ऑल द रेसिडेंट्स राइट टू ड्रॉ यूर अटेंशन टूवर्ड्स द पुअर क्वालिटी एंड इन एडुकेट सप्लाई ऑफ म्युनिसिपल वॉटर इन द एरिया ऑफ गुलमोहर कॉलोनी we have been facing this inconvenience since a week now earlier there was regular supply of municipal water throughout the day but now the situation is worrisome the water is rarely available and the quality too has deteriorated it is pale in color and has a foul smell due to this it has become unfit for drinking and can neither be used for any other activity the situation has become so bad that we are compelled to purchase bottled water or even consume ground water at times i hereby humbly request you to look into the grave issue and take the necessary action required to restore adequate supply of clean water in the area I look forward to your cooperation at the earliest. Thanking you, yours truly, Mira, President H W A. So, so see, students, here we have seen some examples of formal letter. Huh? The format of the formal letter, and so how is the format? First, we have to write the sender's address, means our address. Huh? Then a date. Then to whom you are writing the letter? That receiver's address. Then in the one line you have to write down the subject. Then there will be a salutation that is respected sir or respected madam. Then you have to divide the paragraphs, uh, divide the main body of the letter into three paragraphs. First will be the introduction. Second, the what is the letter about, and third one is the conclusion. Next will be the subscription. So thanking you, yours truly, your name and designation. Okay. the year we have seen about a formal letter now we will move towards the informal letter uh, what is meant by informal letter that we are going to see see an informal letter is a non official letter uh, now see formal letter is a official letter an informal letter is non official letter that we usually use to write to our friends families or relatives see an informal letter is a non official letter that we usually use to write to our friends family or relatives these letters are personal letters that are not used for official purposes so these letters are personal letters that are not used for official purposes there could be many reasons for which we write these letters to our family and friends for example if we want to inform them about our achievement in school or college then we write them a letter to spread our personal news since the letters informal the salutation is usually given by dear such as dear name of friend a uh, name of uncle or auntie or dear father dear mother unlike formal letters you don't have to mention the subject line for informal letters uh, in the informal letter you don't have to write down the subject and in salutation also we don't have to write down respected mother respected father respected friend no we have to use dear ha huh? such as dear friend name dear uncle dear auntie dear father dear mother and we have to not to write the subject line we have to not to mention the sub, uh, subject line but the address of senders and receivers of the letter has to be mentioned necessarily let's see informal letter examples there could be many topics to write down informal letter now what are the topics are there for the informal letter see first is inviting a friend for a ceremony say for a birthday we can write down the letter for a friend for a ceremony for a birthday 
calling a friend for a trip or holiday asking sorry or apologizing to someone for mistakes you have done congratulating a friend for his success or achievement writing just to ask for the well-being of a person invitation for a marriage asking help from someone informing about someone's demise in family or friends now how to write down the informal letter see the format address of the sender date of writing a letter address of receiver salutation body of the letter conclusion as signature of the sender how will be the letter format address of the sender date of writing a letter address of receiver salutation body of the letter conclusion as signature of the letter format c address of the sender then date first we have to write the address then date dear friend that is name of a person then body of the letter subject we have to not to write down and if sender's address is given in the paper then only we can write down the sender address if it is not don't write then body of the letter paragraph 1 paragraph 2 and paragraph 3 the paragraph 1 what you will write down ask for the well being of the person in the paragraph 2 the main reason to write down the letter and paragraph 3 conclusion and end of the letter you ask lovingly and you are name the name of the sender a see a letter to a friend is usually informal in nature we write this letter we write this letter to a friend to inform about something or to invite him or her for any occasion sometimes we also write to ask sorry if we have done any mistake yes. sometimes we have we just write them to know their well being let us see an informal letter definition huh? now see for examples we will see about informal letter first one is birthday party invitation letter the letter is written to the friend to invite him or her for the birthday party yes. birthday party invitation letter now first sender's address will be written what is the sender's address 33 fifth avenue fourth cross road mumbai maharashtra and date 18th june 2020 dear priti first paragraph how are you how are your family members how is the weather there hope you are doing well i am also fine here i am writing this letter to invite you for my birthday party which will be celebrated on 30th june 2020 the party will be conducted in my lonawada's farm house it will begin at 6 pm in the evening the complete address of the venue is dash what is the address that you have to mention the complete venue of the uh, venue uh, where we are going to celebrate the birthday if you have any confusion regarding the address you can directly call me or on my phone number it's been a long time since we have seen each other and i will be really very happy if you can attend my birthday party waiting to meet you soon take care with love pooja so this is the letter written to your friend inviting for the birthday so here first what what uh, what is the format of informal letter first you have to write down sender's address date the salutation that is dear priti no dear a friend's name divide the letter into three paragraphs and close it no with love pooja then one more letter to a friend this informal letter to a friend to congratulate on a success 
Uh, so let us write another letter to a friend to congratulate him or her for ranking first in class. So what is the letter is there? The letter is regarding congratulation for your success. First sender's address is who is writing the letter. Suppose you are writing the letter, your address will come. A sender's address, 33 5th Avenue, 4th Cross Road, Mumbai, 89 Maharashtra, then date 18th June 2020, dear Priti. Again, I use the same friend name, dear Priti. How are you? How are your family members? How is the weather there? I hope you are doing well. I am also fine here. I heard the news of you holding first rank in the class. I feel really happy and proud of you. I would like to congratulate you for the same. I know I know you must have done a lot of hard work for it. And finally, you have achieved what you wanted. I am hoping that you achieve all the success in future. Keep it up. Also, we'll try to meet you in person and congratulate you. If we meet ever, we'll surely celebrate for your success. Till then, take care of yourself and your family. Take care with love, Pooja. This is the congratulation letter written for the friend for, his, for her success. And in the last format, we will see the letter to father. See, 33 5th Avenue, 4th Cross Road, Mumbai 89, Maharashtra. Now, again, the address is written, then date 18th June 2020. Then, dear dad or dear father, dear papa, how are you? Okay, hope you are doing well. I am also fine here. I am writing a letter to inform you that I have ranked first in my university for the last semester exam. I am sure you will be happy to hear this news. Please inform mother also for the same. It's been a long time since we have seen each other. I am planning to come home in the coming vacation. We will celebrate this achievement together wait, waiting to meet you soon. Take care until then with love, Pooja. This letter is written to the father. Okay. So these are the formats of the informal letter. So informal letter is not an, any uh, official letter. The letter is written, written to the relatives, to the friends, to the parents, to the uncle, aunt. Okay. And see here we have seen the Formal letter and informal letter. Just I'll revise you again the format. Now this letter, both types come in the exam. It is your cho choice whether you have to write down the formal letter or informal letter. The letter carries five marks. Okay, it comes in the writing skill part in the question number fifth. Okay, so all this address, date, Salutation, subscription, main body, all these carry marks. Okay, now how the marks are divided, just I will tell you. First, I will tell you the marks, then again I will have the revision of the format of this letter. So, how these marks are distributed? Just I will tell you. Uh, see, uh, in the formal letter, when you suppose you are writing the formal letter, huh, then how the marks are distributed for sender's address and date. Sender's means if you are writing the letter, you are the sender. Sender's address and date, it carries half mark. Huh? Then recipient's address means to whom you are writing the letter, it carries half mark subject, the subject which you are writing, the one line subject that carries half mark. The main body of the letter, it carries two marks. 
the subscription and closing is thanking you yours faithfully or yours sincerely yours obediently yours truly it carries half mark and all the grammar how we are written the grammar huh? all these punctuation marks and all it carries one mark like this total five marks letter or formal letter is there when you are writing the informal letter suppose you are writing the informal letter how is the marking system of informal letter sender's address and date in informal letter only one letter uh, address is coming sender's address means if you are writing the letter your address and date it carries half mark salutation salutation means dear friend so and so dear father dear mother it carries half mark the main body of the letter it carries two and half mark the closing is yours loving it carries half mark and grammar carries one mark so like this five marks will be for informal letter so this letter writing comes in the section fifth writing skill part that is question number fifth both the topics are given formal or informal you no know, any one you have to attempt okay so again i am repeating what is the uh, format of formal letter uh, that is sender's address date if you are not write, uh, writing date you will lose your mark if you are not writing subject you will lose your mark uh, so sender's address and date half mark uh, sender's address then date then receiver's address subject uh, uh, salutation and main body of the letter the uh, subscription uh, the sender's name signature and designation if you are writing informal letter how will you write the informal letter uh, address then date the salutation main body closing and grammar so here we have discussed about the formal letter and informal letter what is meant by formal letter formal letter is an official letter a formal letter is an official letter and it is written for different purposes okay and we have in the formal letter don't use any abbreviations or any colloquial colloquial words means which are not formal slang words slang words means which are informal words huh? it should be precise and to the point the subject should be in a one line okay then the address should be proper the date should be proper the receiver address should be proper and uh, the subject of the letter should be in the three paragraph uh, subject of the letter should be in one line the respected sir or respected madam then the letter should be divided into three paragraph in the first paragraph you have to introduce yourself and the purpose of the writing in the paragraph 2 give detail of the matter and in the paragraph 3 conclude by mentioning what you expect so in this way you have to write down the formal letter and in the informal letter uh, a informal letter is usually informal in nature and we write this letter to a friend to inform about something or to invite him or her on any occasion sometimes we also write to ask sorry if we had done any mistake okay so in the informal letter sender's address and date and salutation there will be no subject there will be no receiver's address and main body again divide the paragraph uh, divide the letter into three paragraphs uh, ask for well being then main reason and then conclusion uh, then closing okay yours lovingly uh, in the informal letter how we are closing by using yours lovingly and in the formal letter you are writing you if you are writing the letter to the principal or teacher write down yours obediently now if you are writing the letter to any officer then write down yours sincerely yours truly or yours faithfully if you are not writing you will lose your marks so so point wise you have to see all the points are covered and you have to write down the letter formal letter and informal letter so here we have discussed today about how to write down the formal letter uh, some examples we have discussed uh, first we have written the letter 
to the secretary of the resident because of the blockage of the streets then we have written to the municipal commissioner uh, to the mayor of your city because of the water locking problem in the area then we have seen the sick leave application for the uh, return for the school then the letter to the municipal commissioner uh, because of the poor quality and inadequate supply of municipal water the informal letter we have seen uh, the invitation letter we are written letter written to a friend for the inviting the birthday party then letter uh, written to a friend to congratulate on her success then you have uh, the student have uh, puja had uh, got the first rank uh, in the university in his in her exam so she had informed to his uh, to her father uh, about her success so this three type uh, some types of uh, formal letter and informal letter we have seen today okay so here we are completed with the topic letter writing formal letter and informal letter which carries five marks again i am repeating the marking scheme in the formal letter sender's address and date carries half mark the receiver's address carry half mark the subject carries half mark the main body carries two marks the subscription and or closing carries half mark and overall grammar carries one mark like this total five marks and in the informal letter sender's address and date half mark salutation half mark main body two and a half mark closing half mark and overall all grammar one mark so that total five marks so here we have seen the letter writing format of the formal letter and it formal letter and we have completed with the topic okay i hope so you have understood with the topic yes students have you understood with the topic in the previous lecture i have seen formal letter again i have repeated today the same topic for the as a revision and today we are we have seen with the new format that is informal letter okay okay thank you students